What it do, what it do, what it do, Sooner Nation. How are you, everybody doing on this sub-zero Arctic tundra? Oh, man, it's cold outside. I hope you've got your long johns on, got you a cup of hot something or another, and staying indoors, public service announcement, bring your pets in. Don't let the little fur babies freeze outside because it's, colder and blue blazes outside today with the upcoming super bowl i thought i would uh share with you an oklahoma a former oklahoma sooner nose guard and oakland raider uh two-time super bowl winner by the name of reggie kinlaw and as always, thank you for pulling up, and watching my videos, and and uh, spending spending a little portion of your day watching my videos. The legend, of, I appreciate it so much. We're at ninety-one subscribers, and I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, I appreciate you liking, commenting, subscribing. It just, it means the world to me. I can't thank y'all enough. Y'all, for my 91 subscribers, y'all have seen me at the very beginning. And in the future, you will see better layouts, better backgrounds, uh, better graphics in, in, the up, in the upcoming months. I'm doing everything from a cell phone right now. So just bear with me. It's going to get better. Stick it out. And as always, I'm pleased to announce that I have partnered with Devil Dogs Brew and Beans, a veteran-owned coffee brand that takes pride in brewing coffee blends that embody the spirit of the fearless and dedicated Marine Corps, where every sip is a celebration of strength, camaraderie, and exceptional taste. Get 10% off your first order by using the promo code Sooner Legends at checkout, and you will also receive free shipping in the continental United States. And for every dollar you spend with Devil Dog Brew and Beans, a portion of the proceeds goes to the Wounded Warrior Project. So, salute to you, Devil Dogs. Okay, let's jump into. Mr. Reggie Kinlaw, shall we? He played for OU from 1975 to 1979. He was a member of the 1975 uh, National Champion Oklahoma Sooners, where they defeated Michigan in Orange Bowl in 1976. He was a two time consensus All American and he logged 11 tackles in each of the Sooners' Orange Bowl appearances for the 78 and 79 seasons, and he was inducted into the Orange Bowl Hall of Fame in 2015. Reggie was drafted in 1979 to the Oakland Raiders. He was in the 12th round. He was the 320th player out of 330 taken in that draft now here's what's interesting about reggie is when you think of nose guard which is the position he played he was very undersized as a matter of fact when he went into uh when he went into the pros uh let me see i've got it written down here uh he was Six one and two hundred and forty four pounds. Now that that's small for a nose guard because most times when you see a nose guard, they're them big country horses that looks like they've been eating cornbread for a week. <laughs> so he was undersized, and when he when he went to Oakland, he played with the greats such as Art Shell, Gene Upshaw, Howie Long. Ted, Mad, Mad Stork Henderson, Lyle Alzado. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So Reggie said when 
when he got drafted and he, and when they reported to camp that year, him being undersized, he had to really show out and sh show up and show out to get a spot on the roster, which he did. And if y'all remember, Tom Flores was the coach of uh, Oakland that year. So Reggie fought his way to the top to get a starting spot on Oakland's uh, probably arguably one of the best defenses in pro football in the early 80s. And, uh, of course, uh, with, uh, with that, uh, Oakland went and won two Super Bowls, uh, Super Bowl 15 against Philadelphia and Super Bowl 18 against Washington Redskins when they had Oklahoma legend Joe Washington as running back, John Riggins as, I'm going to say it, fullback, and Joe Theismann as the quarterback. Now, in that game, or that particular Super Bowl, uh, Marcus Allen was the MVP for, for that Super Bowl. But Joe Theismann said in an interview that it should have been Reggie Kinlaw for the simple fact they run a they run a three four defense, and uh, John Riggins' meat and potatoes of running was straight up the gut. That and uh, Reggie and uh, let's see, it was Alzado on on one one e defensive end and Howie Long at the other. They literally plugged up that hole that forced John Riggins to run outside where the secondary and the linebackers could tee off uh, on Riggins. And also, if y'all remember right, John Riggins only gained 64 yards in that whole entire Super Bowl. So uh, Joe, Joe felt that, that Reggie should have been named the MVP. And of course, uh, they ultimately won. Marcus Allen was the MVP. And uh, also, uh, Ken Law played six seasons for Oakland and finished out his remaining two seasons with uh, the Seattle Seahawks. Now, like I said, Reggie was, he was very undersized and he, he uh, developed how an undersized player who is, who was fast like Reggie was strong as an ox. Reggie proved that you didn't have to be the big burly country hoss nose tackle to succeed at that position. And uh, he was well loved by the Oakland Raiders on that squad. And also, if you remember, when uh, the, when they moved from Oakland to Las Vegas, the ceremonial torch lighting in honor of Al Davis, Reggie Kenwell lit the torch. I think that is cool. So there's your little piece on Reggie Kenwell. And uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Why? Because sharing is caring. Hop down in the comments. Let the legend know about Reggie Kenlaw if if you if you remembered him. And also, like I said, this Oakland fan, old Oakland fans, I want to hear y'all's comments too. So until we meet again, this is the legend. We'll see you on the backside.